Okay, I have two examples to share with you. These are from the book uh, Designer's Guide to Adobe InDesign and XML by James Mayvold. The first example I'm going to show you uh, uses a text frame that is linked to other text frames. Using the root element, I'll right click, import my XML file, and actually I need to go into these book files here, and choose my XML file and click open. I'm going to going to just select these three options in the XML import options dialog. Clone repeating text elements, which will make it clone as many times as necessary to import all the data. Um, import only the elements that match my existing structure and do not import white space. So I say OK and it populates only the first box. So in order to get it to flow through to these other boxes, I take the data root element whatever your root element is called, it doesn't matter, it's the root element you want to do, and drop it on top of the text frame. Now since that's linked to these other text frames, it will populate all of the rest of these. So that's my first example. Second example is here, I have an element which I'm going to import the XML into. In this case, this is one long text frame with two columns. And I don't have individual text frames, I just have one large text frame with an anchored object for an image. In this case, I will right click directly on the element, import my XML file. Uh, this is not the right one, I need to go up here actually to this file. And again, I will select the same options that I did the last time, click OK. And here you will see it automatically populate all of these, uh, these pieces of data because there's enough room for it to do so. So I hope this helps you out a little bit, and good luck.